Lotus is now a 76 year old company. We are an automotive brand who has been at the forefront of pioneering performance and is now transitioning to become more of a luxury positioned, technology focused, fully electrified brand. So we started using Unreal initially at design and then through over the last four or five years, we've really pushed it throughout the business. It's not a traditional piece of software as we know. It's not a traditional tool because it is the platform that you can build everything from. The real advantage for us now is that we've got every aspect of how we look at our data and we need to visualize it going through a single source of Unreal Engine, be that for external facing marketing asset, actually demonstrating functionality of the car through the HMI and any communication tool that we need throughout design development and research process. We have a data preparation team that is constantly feeding the updates through Pairforce and pushing it out to all of the teams spread across the world. So we know that they're always on the latest data set and they're always using the correct data. So in the Unreal master file, we have essentially all the A surface data. So all the data that you see visually, and then we have all the critical B surface data. So when you open the door, all the seals, all the screws, the nuts and the bolts that you actually see are also there. As well as that, because we use this as an engineering review tool, we have to have all the suspension data, all the data for the electric motors, the engines. We also, with the introduction of Substrate in the latest versions of Unreal, that's allowed us to push things like car paint to the next level. So we can talk to the team in the paint shop and we can understand a bit more about how they actually create the paint and now we can properly replicate that in Unreal. And it allows us to have a very consistent image and therefore kind of corporate identity spanning from how we create a film piece right the way through to how the customer configures a car with our digital and online configurator systems. It's no longer pre-rendered, everything is real time, it's dynamic, it's fully pixel streamed, so it gives the user a brilliant experience from start to finish. So for all of our marketing and kind of PR related content requirements, everything that's moving is done through Unreal. We're always pushing for photorealistic. We're trying to blur those lines with virtual production where we're bringing in real cars and we produce the environments, for example, or vice versa. We produce the cars and we shoot them in real environments. Going from purely creating marketing content or visual assets around the products into HMI development, it made a lot of sense for us to try and use Unreal Engine to really lift the visual quality and the responsiveness of that system. We were able to really push real-time reflections, real-time shadows and real-time texture updates in the UX UI. We can test stuff quickly visually as well as functionality before it goes into the main branch. The speed at which we can innovate is a lot higher with Unreal. We've had VR integrated in our process for a long time. It's something that we use on an international level to be able to communicate with people in different locations via web-based sharing. Traditionally, the, the system we've used was more VRED based. And really now we've managed to make a transition into using Unreal Engine because the fidelity of the result is so much stronger. It used to be you have to build from the ground up a VR experience. With the addition of the latest updates to Nanite and Lumen, it's allowed us to take that pure master file that sits at about 20, 30 million polys. It's all run through Nanite, so it optimizes it perfectly for just your view and experience. We have a set process now where we know we can go from super quick, rough asset generation and push it through to something which is cinematic quality at the ultimate goal at the end of it. The advantage is, is, is speed and it's then creative and artistic freedom. And that's all given to us through the ability which is provided by using Unreal.